Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to talk about invalid EMEI problem in your Infocus M260. So today actually I just flashed my Infocus M260 using the SP flash tool and suddenly as I was uh, in, uh, trying to call someone, uh, I noticed that there was a problem with EMEI number and it was showing me uh, EMEI invalid instead of my SIM cards. So I was like, let's see how we can solve the problem. So I uh, was uh, searching on it and I got this got this easy solutions. So there are two solutions without root and with root. I would uh, actually tell you that uh, solution without root is very easy and you should prefer to go with that. So to solve the problem, first, first of all, you need to enter the code which I'm going to display on your screen. After writing the code, do follow the steps. I am just going to show you in the video. Star hash star hash three six four six six three three hash star hash star. So now, as you will enter this code, a menu will pop up in between. So as you can see, this is the menu. Now, right swipe. Now go into the CDS information. And now go into the radio information. Click on it, and as you can see, there are two phone, phone one, phone two. As I have two sims in my phone. Now, first of all, you need to uh, write this code. As you as you will write E, the code will appear automatically. So select the first code, and now write your EMEI code uh, that might be on your box or the phone, the box for which you got with your phone uh, in between those four commas and then you need to separate the plus sign on the start from the AT to actually uh, make your code work so uh, just click space and you will see that there is a space between both and now you need to click the send so now send, uh, send command and there will be a message showing you that uh, the process is done and then you need to select to go to phone 2 and then you need to select uh, the, again the uh, E right again type E then you will be able to select the code now this time you need to select the second code in which there will be 10 instead of 7 and, the, and then again write EMEI and you will be able to now again uh, the thing do do have the space you need to have a space between 80 and plus sign and then you will be able to do uh, able to, you will be able to send the code and then you need to restart your phone once and you will be able to do that and after that you will see that your EMEI number is displayed in your settings and your phone will work normal so you can also do that using the engineering mode using the root so that's it for this video please go subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to watch more videos like this and please do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next?